hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to install vnc viewer application on your android phone even though it says not supported on google play store and um i've been getting the message recently where most people says that um they can't install vnc viewer application because the play store version is not supported on their android device so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to install the nc viewer application on your android phone even though it is not supported on play store and you'll be able to open it and use it as usual just like you use it normally so if you're new to this channel do not forget to subscribe and turn on bell notifications and um don't waste too much of your time you know let's get to the video so welcome back guys as you can see I'm not able to install VNC viewer because it says your device isn't compatible with this version so to be able to download VNC viewer I'm not going to be downloading it from Play Store what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back I'm going to open my browser okay and I'm going to search for the name of the application and type APK at the back as you can see VNC viewer APK now there is a list of websites here that uploads VNC viewer okay you can choose to download from any of this website but as for this video i am going to be downloading from the very first website at the top which is apk pure i trust apk pure most of their their applications are you know they're virus free and um yeah so far they are you know they are trustworthy so as you can see the latest version of um vnc viewer that is here was uploaded on january 9 um january 19 2023 which is recently all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on older versions of VNC viewer. Okay. You're going to click on older version. The thing is you can install the new version, but the probability of the new version working is very, very slim because the new version in play store says it can't be installed on your phone. So you're going to search for older versions of this application. As you can see, there are older versions here. So you can decide to download from any year, but I want to download from a very close year. Okay. A recent year. So I'm going to click on this, um, what is the most recent one there is okay um, apart from the 2023 applications there is the 20 these are 2023 applications as you can see 2023 112 and there's 2023 128 which is january 2028 but at the same time there's 2021 this is around september 2021 so this was the 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 version there was before the 2023 version and i think this version expired around last year okay last year um i think november as you can see november 8 2022 which is very very recently that's you know that was about november last year we're in february now so i'm going to download this application now okay i'm going to be downloading this one so um as you can see the application is downloading already so if i click on details now details okay it has been downloaded let me just open it from the download um from the download site on chrome as you can see vnc viewer remote desktop apk so i'm just going to install this okay and um we're going to give it a little bit of time to finish installing all right And yeah the installation has been completed so if i open the application now ah uh, okay the installation has been completed all right let me let me head back to play store and and um and, and see the application as you can see play store now says open even though it is still telling me that this app isn't compatible with your device anymore contact the developers for more options i'm still able to use the application because i have downloaded it from you know um apk pure and the application has been installed on my android phone so you know you can just easily connect just the way you you know you normally connect using your tamox application so i'm just going to try and use this so that you can see that it actually works all right so um i'm going to be typing the name okay localhost one and um tamox xfce okay uh actually let me launch tamox and then you know connect my xfc terminal to the vnc application all right so let me connect it to the localhost so i'm going to launch tamox now and um tamox okay and um i'm going to connect using my vnc server of course you must have seen in my previous videos how to you know 
install Tamox um, desktop on your Android phone. Okay, so I'm just going to connect now. Once it's reached 700, then um, M display is equal to ratio one. Display is equal to ratio one, which is localhost one, of course, which is the localhost I want to connect to on my VNC viewer. <coughs> Then SFC, of course, XFC section. So SFC E4 that session. Okay. And um, I'm going to click on enter. And yeah, the command above should connect me to my XFC section and localhost one. So I'm going to head back to uh, VNC viewer now and you know try connecting and see if this actually works, if this application works. Even though it is not supported on Play Store, okay? So I'm going to change the picture quality to high now so that everywhere goes soft. Then one me every time, okay. And it is going to ask me for my PNC password. So I'm just going to enter my password now, which is 123456. And I'm going to click on Remember Password. And I'm going to click on Continue. And boom, as you can see. So um, I already know how to control, so I don't need to, you know, go through the tutorial anymore. Okay, and yeah, this is it. Have your XFCE desktop on a VNC application, even though it is not supported on your Android device. So this is how you fix it. Okay. Um, thanks for watching, and um, do not forget to subscribe. Goodbye.